her she's a bit bossy because she's so confident now. Um, there was a time where we worried that she wouldn't talk. So the fact that she is like that is, is great because she's had the support. I'm really, really struck by how much time and money has gone into actually trying to give greater priority to children and families, but not always made the practical difference that we would like. So I think it's really, really important to hear direct from folk what really makes a practical difference to them. Knowing that I'm not the only person that gets absolutely ah when the kids play up. Meeting friends, doing courses, doing new things, just having a life. I could be mum and be Vicky. And it's overwhelming just being mum, 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 mum. They give you basic skills or enhance the skills you've already got to actually um, use my brain after it becoming such mummy mush. I'd have to say Homestart has been an immense help for me. The emotional support, um, practical help, the volunteer that we, that we have at the moment. She's basically an extra part of the family. And has your start made a big difference to yours and your children's lives? Children are very sensitive and they do pick up your emotions very easy. And now that they see me in a more relaxed state, in a happier state, it reflects on them as well. You could come in here crying on one of your worst days and somebody would sit down and talk to you and listen to you and understand. <laughs> What encourages you to kind of walk through the door or what, you know, might stand in the way of you walking through the door? Wherever you go, you'll always see um, mum's clubs, toddler group, never ever sees men welcome. I didn't want anybody to think that I needed help. I sort of didn't want to look like I wasn't coping. It's not easy um, asking for help. Um, it's like, it feels like a weakness. Although it might be daunting and it might be scary, it's taking that first step to get through the door that changes your life. We thought that first steps was for single parents or people who had drug problems who just didn't really have any parenting skills. Why should I need it? Because I've got a husband who supports me, I've got two children who I absolutely adore. Why do I need the help? But it isn't until something kind of goes my husband was diagnosed with bowel cancer. My life was consumed with hospitals, chemo ward, hospitals. My poor children were getting passed from pillar to post and um, these ladies came from First Steps and they came to the house, which was really, really important. And they sat down and they played with Hannah. From a very reserved, shy little girl, I now have a very bouncy, confident and happy three-year-old. Yes, we have the common ground of being a mum, but we have the common ground of still having ambition. We have the common ground of still um, not wanting to be judged. When I fell pregnant with my eldest daughter because I was only 15, I was given two weeks to leave the school. I feel professionals, I feel like they don't listen to you. They don't. It's going to go in one ear and out the other. That, that's where home start and first step come in. They don't judge you. They, they listen to you, they don't tell you that what's right or wrong, they never look your nose down at you, they feel, always feel comfortable. Before you came to the centre here, what other support was made available to you? None. Tablets. I wouldn't have coped another day without this place. They've picked me up off my feet and lifted me right up. And to be honest with you, they saved my life and saved my kids and you know our future, you know, my grandkids, you know, they'll all know that they're, you need to ask for help and take that help and run with it. And so she just went, there you go, there's the kids. I had nowhere to store milk, I had nothing. I had no furniture, nothing. And I just felt that nobody really cared. Does it come to a point where I just get left to boil over and boil over until I end up in a, mental, a worse mental state and my kids end up in care. All I ever wanted was to have a wife and my kids and watch my kids grow up. I 
is your volunteering and all your helping so that you can give back what these people have given to you? I am on the management committee. It wasn't until I actually got started to get involved that I realised actually I was being part of so, so, something that was so much bigger than me, my little world. To be there for somebody when they are having a bad day is phenomenal. Three years ago I got asked if I would like to represent the centre as a, as a parent rep. It is giving back to them what they have given to me and my family. What things in the future do you think need to happen? It's all right having services, but if you don't know how to access the services, you're still out in the cold. Nobody like in a government capacity has ever went out to see what is out there. They didn't kind of exist. And you're not just talking about um, the parent and the children. You're talking about what is going to do to the rest of the family down the line. I am so sure there's people sitting at home crying in the corner, right as we speak, that need to be picked up. And it would change the future of even this country. <laughs> you know, it could make that big a difference, such a small little thing that somebody could have some place to go when they really need it would be phenomenal. You, you know, a, a, just a centre in every town for mums, dads, grandparents, the kids, special needs, just everything could be all wrapped up. And that little impact on somebody's life, which this centre's done for me, wow. And these are the things that matter to me, because it's my children that I think about the most. And your children too. What's your favourite lunch? Mashed potatoes! Mashed potatoes of what?